Hello my friends, this is VRL and in this tutorial we will learn to manipulate the M language in Power Query in order to get the first value in a row. For example, in this table we have the sales of each employee by year and the years are in columns. So we want to know what was the first year when one employee had the first sale. We will get this by chaining four functions in the M language. So let's start with our table. We will do this in Excel in Power Query, but the identical steps are in Power BI. So we go to data from table. So we get our table in Power Query and now we have to add a custom column. I have written now the formula and I will explain it to you. We have like this, list that first, then list that remove nulls, then list that remove first n, and then record to list. We start from the most inner re record, record to list. This transform the row, okay, the row in a list. So because we want to calculate the first sale in a row, we have to get the list from the row. So this record to list get our data from the row. Then list that remove first n remove the first one from the row because we don't want the first item in the row, the name of the employee. We want to start with the second row where the sales actually happen. Okay? So list that remove first n from the row one. Okay, remove one the first. Then list that remove nulls, it removed the nulls, this is what we wanted. And then from the list that doesn't have the nulls, we want list that first. And this way we have this list appeared here with the first sale by each employee. John in 2019, 5. Joe 2018, 96. Tim 100, 2021. Now, if we want the last sale, we just have to change here from list that first, list that last. Okay. And now it gives us the last sale. Okay. Actually, in our case, the last column. And one last trick what if we want to see the first sale in a column? For example, the first sale in 2019. We will go on the same logic, but we have to change one thing and I will show you right now. So we copy now the formula from here and add a new column. Let's say we want the first record. Let's change here the first. Okay, and now let's think. In the case of the rows, we have a record. Now we have a column, so we no longer need this record to list. Instead of it, we need to put the name of the column, but first referred to the previous step, the added custom. So we have added custom 2019, okay, and then one. Okay, but now we see that we get the second value because for the column, the remove first n, we have to start with zero. Okay, and now we have the correct number 2019.5. Let's say 2022. So we have 88. If we put list that last, we have 98, the last sale in 2022. So uh, I hope you found this video useful. Learning the M language gives you more power than just using the user interface.